Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Online. So in this session, we are going to learn about a very interesting syndrome, one of the primary neurological disorders which actually brings the patient directly to the emergency department, which is going to be the Guillain-Barre syndrome. Now, Guillain-Barre syndrome is an acute, severe and fulminant polyradicular neuropathy with an autoimmune basis, which is more common amongst the adults than among children. And the risk for Guillain-Barre syndrome is also more among the males as opposed to females. So, how does, does it occur? Now, we know that this has an autoimmune basis. So, there are going to be immune responses which are actually directed against the non-self antigens, which may be in the form of an antecedent infection or a vaccination. So, essentially what happens is, this immune response which is being targeted at an external infection or a vaccine introduced antigen is going to result in an autoimmune response because of molecular mimicry. Now, these antibodies are going to be misdirected against the host neural tissues because of the shared molecular mimicry. And the common neural targets are going to be these gangliosides. That's why when we do a Guillain-Barre syndrome panel, a serology panel, we call it the anti-gangliocide antibodies because the gangliosides are the ones that are being targeted here. And cellular and humoral immunity, both are involved here. Although the antibodies which are directed against these gangliosides are going to start the whole cascade of events, both T cell mediated immunity as well as B cell mediated humoral immunity is also involved in the pathophysiology of Guillain-Barre syndrome. So, let's move on a little deeper to understand how it actually works, how the whole process of demyelination and that's all damage happens. So, basically what happens as I said earlier, there is going to be some antecedent event in the form of an infection or a vaccination and the immune responses, what happens which are naturally triggered against the non-self antigens are going to be misdirected against the host neural tissue because of the molecular mimicry. So, all these anti-gangliocide antibodies, now I told you the targets are going to be gangliocides. So, overall these antibodies which are directed against these gangliocides are going to instigate activation of the complement system and that is going to bring about a vesicular disintegration of the myelin sheath. That's going to result in macrophage activation, which ultimately causes significant myelin damage and axonal degeneration. Now, this is all going to result in conduction block. And as this conduction block becomes more and more persistent and severe with more and more persistent damage, what happens? There is going to be secondary axonal degeneration. So, this is how the course of events takes place in GBS. So, uh, to put it across, to put across the same things that we discussed so far in a picturesque manner. So, here you are able to see there are these unidentified antigens. So, commonly the ganglioides, which are the targets, right? So, these antibodies which are going to be directed against these gangliosides are going to result in activation of the complement system and complement activation is going to result in formation of the membrane attack complex and this membrane attack complex is going to significantly uh, affect and uh, damage the myelin sheet. So, that is going to trigger damage of the myelin sheet. That is going to result in nerve injury and finally, all the macrophages which come will result in significant demyelination. So, this is how the course happens. So, you have uh, these antibodies which are directed against the gangliosides which trigger activation of the complement system. The complement activates the membrane attack complex which then results in gathering about of the macrophages. All these macrophages and uh, the complement system together result in significant damage of the myelin sheet. Now, this is what typically happens in patients with AIDP. So, in patients with acute inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, so the brunt of the damage is going to be by the myelin sheet is going to be targeted at the myelin sheet. So, here what happens you are able to see uh, complement mediated and macrophage mediated attack wholly happens on this myelin sheet which is surrounding the 
axon therefore resulting in all the classical features that accompany patients with AIDP both clinically as well as electrodiagnostically on the nerve conduction studies. Now here what happens here we are able to see these are axonal variants of uh, AIDP axonal variants of guillain barre syndrome. So here the targets are going to be gangliosides but slightly different gangliosides. So usually GD1A is the target and the antibodies against GD1A they are going to cause significant damage just like how the antibodies here usually to GM1 cause damage. So these antibodies are again going to trigger complement activation that is going to result in formation of membrane attack complex and that is going to invite the macrophages. But what is different here? Here we saw that because these antigens uh, in AIDP were predominantly on the myelin sheath, both complement mediated and macrophage mediated damage was targeted at the myelin sheath. Therefore, if at all axonal damage happened in AIDP, it was secondary to the demyelinating process. But here you are able to see in patients with axonal variants of GBS, you are able to see that the antigens that are involved here are basically situated at the nodes of Ranvier. They are situated in the paraneural regions. As a result, what happens? Complement mediated and macrophage mediated damage directly happens on these regions of the axons which are going to be exposed at the nodes of Ranvier. Therefore, there is significant axonal damage. You are able to see the macrophage directly affects the axon itself as compared to the AIDP where the axon was left largely untouched and it was only the myelin sheath that was being destroyed. So, these axonal variants of GBS which are called acute motor axonal neuropathy aman or acute motor sensory axonal neuropathy amsan. These are the two axonal variants where there is significant axonal damage thanks to these antibodies targeted usually against the GD1A antigen. So, this is how basically GBS occurs, this is why GBS occurs.